Fittis. I am a swimmer and I have parasol, so my classification is S14. I have a learning disability. This means I struggle with like schoolwork and like basic tasks, like staying focused and like just taking on information. After she'd been at school for three years, she hadn't progressed at all, so they got an educational psychologist to see her. Uh, and they said that she's got this specific learning difficulty. I get quite anxious at school and like I did get bullied like for not being as like smart as the others. So down, so upset, I really wasn't sure what was going to happen with her. I didn't believe that I could do anything in life. She started to swim, it was one of the first things she felt that she could actually do. I haven't got like much hand-eye coordination. Para swimming just gave me that confidence of like I can do something. I'm actually okay at stuff, like, if I do focus and train and work hard, I can achieve things. Even though it might take a little bit longer, but I will get there in the end. First of all, very hard working, uh, she's very motivated. Power swimming is so accepting, like, no one like said anything about my disability, no one's rude, everyone's so respectful. It is quite like a battle to stay focused. Sometimes I forget what I'm doing, not really understanding the set. I mostly ask my friends, I'm like, what are we doing next? Do we do this? Are we doing that? Is it drill, kick, swim? And they like really help and support me by telling me. It's all really about patience. Almost every athlete requires a certain amount of patience and maybe Louise does a little bit more. We do underwater filming, we do above the water, pinpoint things that we need to improve on. In time she is fixing those things up and that's the main thing. Yeah, it may take a little bit longer for both of us but she's, she's definitely getting there. Looking at my catch, making sure that my hands are where I think they are, make sure that it feels correct, the turns, the underwaters. But sometimes I lose focus, I start singing songs in my head. I see that she loves it and I, you know, her body language says everything about her, that this is what she wants to do. The amount that we train, like it's really hard, but like in a good way. It just gives me like something I can focus on, unlike school where I struggle and stuff. She really made substantial advances in, in swimming and managed to get a place in the top squad. I think that boosted her confidence, both as an athlete and also as a person. Obviously, get up at four o'clock, bring her here, uh, go to work, come back, play us with it again, get home late, do it all again the next day. But she's the one in the pool doing the hard work. I know if I don't get up, that I won't be as good as the person that did get up. Like, there will be someone else that's doing more, but if I can match them or, like, do more than them, then I'm going to be the better athlete and hopefully post better times than them. The extra funding from OCS is absolutely vital. It enables us to go to competitions we just physically wouldn't be able to go to buy a kit that she needs. I mean, swimming costumes now, the racing suits, are like £380. My end goal is obviously to go to a Paralympics, hopefully Tokyo, to win four golds, hopefully. I am so proud of her, I really am. I just, you know, I, I don't know how she does it. It is a dream to become world champion, to become number one, just like better than everyone else, just you know what I mean, like, to be the best. Mm -hmm.